An incredible save caught on camera. A Sterling Heights police officer rescuing a man from a burning house. Heart-stopping moments not only saved that local man, but also his three dogs. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 11. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. Jacqueline Francis has more on this heroic effort. From the front of the house, it looks like nothing happened. Most of the damage was contained to the back of the home. When the fire broke out, only Sean and his three dogs were at the house, and first responders got there just in time. This is officer body camera video from a house fire in Sterling Heights Saturday. As fire crews are in the front, an officer goes to the back, hearing cries for help behind a locked door. Kicks in the door, he sees that the homeowner's on the ground. Um, he's bleeding from the head, and he lifts him up, and he, and he brings him outside of the, of, the, of the home. Sean Sprinkle was the homeowner who officers rescued. Here's how he remembers it. At first, I was trying to get the door open on my own, and then when I heard someone talking, then I started saying, you know, I'm screaming, I'm in here, I'm in here. And then that's when I saw the door fly open. Sean says he must have fallen when trying to escape the house. He was worried about his three dogs, who the officer also rescued. I definitely have a different view on police officers. Sean, whose wife and kids were not home at the time, has seen the officer body cam video of the rescue. When I was watching it, I just, like, it was still frightening for me. Um, you know, I'm still shooken up about it. While the cause of the fire and extent of the damage is still unknown, he says that officer is his hero. A lot of people will say, oh, they're just doing their job. But no, I, that's that. Not everybody can do something like that, you know, and I don't think they don't they don't get the credit that they deserve. Sean hopes to reunite with Officer Jesse Ingram. That's the officer who saved him so we can thank him in person. Reporting live tonight, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Oh, okay, Jacqueline, thank you.